These are the four biggest mistakes 99% of people make about this blue zone and because of that cannot properly learn how to follow the blue zone lifestyle. First on the list of myths to be busted, Okinawa is rich. There are a few parts to how this links directly to longevity, but not in ways you probably think. So the first thing to mention is that Okinawa is the poorest prefecture in Japan. Japan may be a first world country, yes, but it still has poverty like most other countries, right? So historically, Japan has done an amazing job of cultivating the way the rest of the world perceives Japan, and Okinawa is no exception, right? Actually, Abroad in Japan makes a fantastic video explaining all about this, but the reality is, is that poverty is in Japan, it's just that no one ever talks about it. Most people only talk about futuristic tech like robot waiters in anime or on the occasion anime about futuristic robot waiters. But meanwhile, the truth is that Okinawa has the highest childhood poverty rate in all of Japan. There is a connection between a specific, a specific type of poverty and longevity which was once a blessing for the people, was f which forced them to naturally be focused on the more important things in life, rather than materialistic things, is no longer a driving force for longevity. Back in the day, when you had just the land, the ocean, and the people around you, you made do with what you had. The neighbors were close by, you knew their names, you broke bread with them, you drank alcohol together, gossiped about the area, the closeness of the community caused the families and the communities to help each other out. One of the biggest and most dramatic changes that has completely transformed Okinawa is the degradation of the family unit. Entire families would live together, and often not just the immediate family, be aunts, uncles, possibly cousins as well. Nowadays, we have everything at our fingertips, social media, phones, iPads. We scroll instead of talking to the person in front of us. We watch TV instead of walking outside. We compare ourselves to others on social media, start to feel bad, and leave mean comments. I interviewed a Polish woman who is living the poverty lifestyle, as some would call it, in northern Okinawa. Yet if you ask her, she would say that she's never been happier in her life. I interviewed an elder Okinawan man by chance when I was taking a t filming a YouTube video who said that kids these days have way too many choices, that they've lost their ability to be grateful. He grew up with one banana sit on the table with multiple siblings around him and all of them were happy to share that one banana. Speaking of food, this brings me to my next myth to bust. Okinawans eat spam every day. Some say spam is Okinawa's one and only downfall. I find it ridiculous that one food, just one food, could be the downfall of an entire population's longevity. Not to mention the overwhelming studies that food is not the only driving factor of longevity in the first place. Okinawans eat spam every day. Americans eat cheeseburgers every day. French people eat baguettes every day. And Australians eat Vegemite every day. I think you get my point. These are nonsensical stereotypes, although Americans do eat way, way too much fast food. That's obvious. Nevertheless, Okinawans do not eat spam every day. According to polls, and even personal polls that I've done myself, the majority of Okinawans eat it a few times a month, if at all. Which leads me to number three. The Okinawan diet is the key, the only key to longevity. Listen, or listen. I get what did you want to eat like an Okinawan. The research is so, so clear about that. But the idea that the diet is all that counts or biohacking is the key is just wrong. Like, do you actually believe this yourself? I've had multiple embassies from around the world visit my sensei and I. All of their country's populations, average lifespan is declining. Usually it's in the lower 70s. The obesity rate is skyrocketing. And these are, these are things that are direct, directly linked to the well-being. But they always start with the same question. What do the Okinawans eat? Listen closely. There are famous influencers who are getting this wrong all the time. If the Okinawan diet was the sole reason the Okinawans lived so long, don't you think that all these countries would completely overhaul their entire agricultural system, start planting purple sweet potato in Ireland and bitter melon throughout Brazil? have starter initiatives and pass laws to open tofu factories around the globe? They don't do this because they know it's not just about diet or it's not even about the specific ingredients in that diet. Most people say that the Okinawan diet or the Mediterranean diet is a key to longevity and then they don't even eat it. Just knowing these things are not gonna help you. Like anything else, it is 
only about what you actually do. This takes deliberate planning to do it. But hey, if you wanna age faster based on your actions, cause I know you wanna age faster, I have the perfect video for you. It will show you exactly how to age so fast you look like a naked mole rat by the age of 50 or 40, maybe 30 if you're really good. Continuing down the ridiculous food myths of Okinawa, next on my list is that Okinawans were vegan. <laughs> I don't care which documentary told you this, whether it's Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, or YouTube, it is a lie. One example I wanna give is that Okinawans used lard in their cooking. They didn't have olive oil like the other Blue Zone people, but they had lard because they had pigs and it was natural and they used what they had. Actually, it's the same for the Italians in Sardinia and the Greeks in Ikaria. They were not vegan either. They ate meat whenever they could get their hands on it. Now I get it, in 2024, there's a huge debate about longevity and eating meat. Even the scientific community is fighting, I understand. Everyone's got an opinion. People can continue to fight about it, in the meantime, I'm just trying to share the reality and the truth of the actual Blue Zones, which are people who prove to be some of the longest living people in the world. There's a famous quote by a guy who I think is kind of famous. You might know him, hopefully you know him. Hippocrates, if I'm saying his name right. Everything in excess is opposed to nature. When it comes to human beings, anything in nature, I personally believe, yes, this is just my opinion, that you need to follow yin and yang. You cannot go wrong with balance. Now that we have broken some myths about Okinawan Blue Zone, I have a ton of videos that will teach you the truth about the Okinawan Blue Zone throughout my channel.